good morning children i am happy to meet you all once again welcome to english class last class we learnt about friends and we learnt a poem called crayons right children this class we are going to learn some grammar we are going to learn singular and plural nouns now read these lines from the poem children i had a box of crayons all shiny straight and new so children mili has many crayons in her box or a single crayon yes you are right she has many crayons in her box so crayons is a noun it is a naming word is it right, children but crayons is a plural noun crayons means there is more than one crayon in number so it is crayons but the word crayon is a singular noun because there is only one crayon in number so when a noun tells us about one person animal place or thing we say it is singular for example burger mango now can you guess what is a plural noun right when a noun tells us about two or more people places or things we say it plural for example burgers mangoes so here is some examples for singular and plural noun what is the first picture children yes it's an apple why we say it's an apple children why are we not saying these are apples by looking at the first picture yes you are right there is only one apple so we call it as apple but look at the second picture how many apples are there you are right three apples are there so we call it as apples because it is plural noun usually we add an s at the end of the naming word to form their plural like a single comb is called as comb and if there are many combs it is called as combs only an s is added at the end of the word comb so children can you tell what is the first picture right carrot and what is the second picture very good these are carrots and what is the next picture children kite and what is the plural form of kite very good kites well done kids and children if a word ends in s x c h or s h the plural word is formed by adding e s to the word for example peach children what is the last two letters of the word peach c h so if that word ends with c h then we should add e s in its plural form so peach becomes peaches in its plural form okay children if you see the next picture the next picture is brush so the last two letters are yes h so if there are more than one brush then what is the plural form of the word brush you are right it's brushes we are just adding es to the end of that word the next word is box children what is the last letter of the word box you're right it's x if there are more than one box we have to add es at the end of the word to make it a plural so if there is more than one box we tell it as 
boxes look at those boxes next word is watch children can you tell me what is the plural form of watch you're right watches we add es at the end of the word very good children so we learnt some singular and plural noun and today's class is over also try to finish the google form children see you next class bye